Alright guys, this is our first time to ever be on YouTube Live. So, what we're doing today is we're going to be dirtying up our P47. It's actually a friend of ours we got, and we decided to dirty it up for it. And we wanted y'all to come along and try out a live chat with us. So, Lori's behind the camera right now, and she's going to be telling us if anybody has questions as we're doing this. And I just thought it would be fun to try it once. So, let us know what y'all think as so, we go. So, it's an FMS... P47, 1600? I think it's 1500. 1500 millimeter. Uh, we've already did the rivets, and we're just going to finish up the final paint. So what I'm using right now, this is the tester's acrylic-based sprayable paint. It comes ready to put right in your airbrush, right out of the bottle. So I'm going to fill up. You don't need a ton, guys. I, I, if y'all watched our earlier videos, you never fill this whole thing up. You don't waste a lot of paint that way. It's always easier to put more in here than it is to put it in here. Back in there. Right. Ooh, it's still so. Oh. Yep. I always have me some paper towel near you. And rubbing alcohol takes it right off, too. Oh, yeah. Where do you want to start at? Start here on the end somewhere? Yep. Yeah. So I always have you a spare piece of paper to try your airbrush on. You get it adjusted right. This way it tilt it up more, but uh, what we're going to do now is actually dirty up the panel line. Hey Laura, if you grab the camera, and can you bring it over here and set it where it's kind of looking down at it? Yeah, I bet I can. Y'all are going for a ride. Whee! Let's see what we can do with this here. Can you look maybe like in this section right here? Yep, we're on it. So what we're gonna do guys, is you take your piece of paper and line it up with your mm -hmm. panel line there. And then you're gonna hit mostly on the paper and just take and go down that panel line. And then I sometimes will take and do a couple little streaks like this. And it's a silver airplane, so this might be hard to see on camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you want to do the gas thing? Yeah. Are you there? Ooh, I don't see it's it. hard to see it right now. Yeah. Let's put a little darker on the silver. The good news is you really can't do this wrong either, guys. It's just all about the look of it. And you're just trying to kind of dirty it up. Sorry if he is covering it up right now. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. All right, let's see how that looks now. Okay. It, it depends on the light. If I come over here, you can see it really good. So what I'm going to do is put a little on this gas tank, too. As it was leaking, and, and it's kind of leaking a little bit and going backwards. Just a small amount. Don't have to have a bunch. Yep. Anywhere that there's an inspection hatch, you can bring them off of there, yep. too. Let me see your piece of paper real quick. So like on this hatch, you cover up your little hole. And you just kind of add the dirty. Yep, and you just kind of go along here on all these little panels. You know, you're not really going to have to do this on the black of the wings, where there's been, you know, this is painted in basin stripes on here. Anybody watching along with us right now? Yeah, we got four people watching in one night. All right, cool. Like I said, first time doing this, guys, so hopefully it's turning out good on your end. Lori's okay. watching the comment section if, if y'all guys are wanting to talk along with us. Like I said, take and make you some streaks. And that just adds that dirtiness to the airplane. Hopefully you can see it. Can you see it on the camera yeah. right now, Lauren? Mm -hmm. The dirties? Dad, will you hold the, the airplane just so it'll quit wiggling? Yeah, I got it. I can hold this one. It's just a bit clunky trying to wiggle on
Since, since we're up here, we can do the guns real quick, too. So Dennis says that's something I've been threatening to try, but I'm afraid I'll ruin Dennis it. Dennis Farley, welcome to the party. <clears throat> you know, Dennis, it's really not that hard, honestly. Takes a little practice, get you a, a, a nice... You know, Ryan's got a nice little airbrush set up on his uh, Amazon store. I actually suggested to him, and I added it on there. Can you see what I'm doing right now? Yeah. Uh, I was just trying to see if the camera could see what I'm doing right now. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, you can see it. I keep moving the camera just a little bit to try to get just the right okay. angles for you. You know, guys, you don't want to go too crazy on all this. So you can overdo it really easily. Around the outside. There you go. And I'll show you how to mix some colors in here in a minute. I like it. Some guys don't. I usually will go in and put just a little off shade of color in a couple of the panels to look like they've been repaired. Hey, another thing you can do is you can stand off for it to make it look dirty. I've seen this, is that you can yeah, actually you come just out here spray, and spray it. And just, can't you can't them. really tell you're dirty it until you get it outside. It'll have a little bit of light sheen over it. We're kind of taking it easier on this one. We're not trying to go super, super dirty. We're also going to do an F-86. Yep. So, if y'all been along here, let me see if the camera is catching everything. You can kind of see how the streaks are looking. I'm going to pick you guys up for just a second. Okay, where you want it? You come in here where y'all can see kind of what we're doing. Let's see. See if we can get you guys in here to see kind of how the streaks actually look when you do this. So you always want your streaks flowing in the direction of the wind. So if the wind was blowing this way, so you always cover the leading edge and blow the, the dirt towards the back side. And as you can see, we've also done all our rivets like we showed in our past videos where you take a Sharpie and you poke the rivets in. This just adds that next level of detail to these airplanes. And what he's doing right now currently is it's a panel line wash. And dad, hold up what you're using. Um, right here. Put it right here about, right, yep, there you go. This is called Citadel's Null Oil. Um, and you just take a brush and it's a, like a liquid oil. Um, and you put it down in the panel lines. Let's see if we can catch it while he's doing it here. And this just adds a dirt in there. And then you can wipe off the excess with your fingers. And it really makes those panel lines pop. And as it dries, you won't even see it was there on the outside of the lines. Great with it. Yep. And it, as you're slathering it in, just make sure you wipe it away the, the direction the wind would be blowing again. And it just looks like oil and grease that was going down it. And they do sell it in other shades. The black just seems to usually stand out so much better to me. But, I mean, you can see it really makes these lines really pop out without overdoing them too much. So, guys, I'm going to set this stand down again real quick. Get y'all out here. Y'all can kind of see us working on it. If y'all have questions, let us know. We're not going to do everything right now on camera. Um, just because we'll be here all day. But we're going to hit all the wings. We're going to turn it over and show you how I do exhaust. Actually, let's just turn it over real quick and show them the exhaust part. Um, we'll see if we can figure out how to turn this over on camera. I think we need to flip it where the tail's that way. So it's not hitting the table. That wouldn't show too good. Maybe we can turn it over right there. Yeah. There you go. I got it. I got the tail. Okay. Here, set it down flat like this. No, like this. Yeah, see if we can go like that right there. Yeah, that works. Right? I think you need a here. stand, a good stand, guys. Here, wait. You're hitting the here. canopy. Here. The turn the stand.
get our cruise in stand. Okay, we'll turn it this way. We're going to be going this way. Yep. Now, what I usually do is I start with black. If you want to come in here, Lori, we're going to be working right in here where the exhausts were. Get you a piece of paper if you haven't used your airbrush for a few minutes, because it's going to clog up. The ends will get clogged sometimes for setting here. I don't have a, a tank. A lot of guys will use a tank that's full of water that you set the tip down in. And it keeps the tank or the tip from clogging like that. But you can see the rivets. Takes a while. There we Maybe go. Maybe you might not be a rivet now. Maybe you're There you we go. So what there I'm gonna do go. is shoot a little down inside the exhaust because we want to dirty up the exhaust inside. And then we're gonna go like we were the wind coming out of this thing. Like I said, you don't have to be super, super accurate with this. Another well, thing, guys, these engines leaked all over the place. <laughs> there isn't, there wasn't anything called a pretty warbird. I mean, they were in the theater, so they sat outside. They didn't wipe on them all that much. They cleaned the windshield, but that's about it. Silver is kind of a harder color to show you on. It's actually really forgiving though, because you really have to spray a lot of paint before you start seeing what you're doing. Now what I'll do is I'll come back with a gray mm -hmm. right here around the exhaust where it first comes out, and it makes it look like it got really hot. If you've seen it in some of our other videos. Now do you want to do any of those panel lines here or not? Yeah, we'll do the top or the bottom later. I think we show them the exhaust. Turn it around. Yeah, if we can. Turn it over, we'll do the other black on the other side real quick. Here. We got a real small <laughs> space. Yeah, our, our hobby room is deceiving looking. It's not as big as you would think it would be. But it's what we got and we make it work. Same thing, I'm gonna paint the inside. I'm going to start working my way out. Any comments? No. Dennis says, you know what happened to me? I'd spend all this time doing it. Next time, go out, smash. <laughs> <laughs> it does happen. Hey, that's part of the hobby, Dennis. You know that. Let's see if I can get in here for a better angle on that. Hopefully, y'all don't hear the wind off of the fan too much right now either. Like I said, what I'm trying to do here is like the 
gas tank was leaking there. Take our panel lines again. Add that into the panel lines. Always go the direction of the wind, and you can always add a couple little streaks off like this. Add something kind of neat looking. Because it looks like that water and crap had been collecting there and just ran down in that one spot. Says it looks easier than he thought. It's really not hard, guys. You know, it sounds really difficult to do all this airbrushing. And I mean, I'm not painting girls on the side of her enough to be here, <laughs> but just adding this little dirty to the airplanes is really not difficult. And it adds so much to the actual airplane. You know, you don't look like every other guy's at the field, and they, they just add a lot of scale detail to it. Especially doing the guns and stuff like that. And then the guns, all I do is an up and down motion right in front of the gun, so you're trying to keep it uh, just in a straight line, you know? Now, I have what's called a single stage airbrush, so every time I push this down, paint comes out. They have another one, hold this real quick, I'll show you guys. If you're getting interested in this. Yeah, I don't know if I can see where you're going. Oh, I was looking yeah. for the other airbrush. Oh, well, you know what? It's up there. You see that blue up yeah. there? Let me show you guys what I mean about the two-stage airbrush. So right here, this is, turns this back out. There. Oh, sorry. Back there. Lori's turning you up right now. So this adjusts how much paint is coming out. And then pressing this down just shoots paint and air all at the same time. Now, what he has right now in his hand, this is a two-stage gun. So, when you do this, you push in for air, and then as you pull back, it starts to add more and more paint in. So, instead of adjusting it, you do still have adjustment for how much paint you want out. But this way, if you want to be real precise with it, you push in for your air, and then you start pulling back for more paint or less paint. And it takes a little while to get used to it. I like these also. It's just... This one is the one I grabbed today, and it was already set up. Um, we live in Florida, so we have a lot of problem with moisture getting in our airlines. So this is a moisture trap, and this is actually a moisture trap added onto the gun itself. Because if you get water coming out, you have a lot of moisture in the air, it'll actually start spitting out of the gun, and it looks terrible when it hits your airplane. So that's what we're trying to do, is keep that out of the gun as much as possible. And then, like I said, I have actually linked, see it, just from setting it, kind of clogged up again. So what I'll usually do is pull the end out, and I'll just get a little bit right here on the tip of this that will clog up if it dries. Screw it in. Clean it off. Yes. Water-based paint, easy to work <coughs> with, guys. You don't need, you know, real hard solvent. Silver would be easy to mark up, but it's not. There we go. Dirty up. There we go. All right, back to painting. If it spitters a little bit here and there and adds a little bit of dots, it's not hurting anything. You know, it just kind of looks like oil. That's the good news about doing what we're doing is you don't have to be very precise with all this stuff. It's just dirty enough the airplane. Pain in my finger. It happens. <laughs> Good news. Water based. Comes right off. Interesting. Hold the airplane real quick while I'm out here on the wing tip. No, it's okay. Just on the wing tip. I just don't worry. Whoa! <laughs> Easy. Dennis asks, is the single stage better for just weathering and dual for actual painting? Yes, uh, a lot of guys that are doing the, the small up close stuff where you're painting a little girl on there or whatever, you can get really fine with that single stage and you can, you can really be precise with how much paint is coming out. Sorry, she said I'm not in the picture, <laughs> if you can hear me. 
But that's more what it is. Uh, the other thing is these are really cheap. <laughs> this one is, I got this one from Hobby King for 10 bucks. Um, and it's worked great forever. And there's not a lot of parts to clean inside of it either. I mean, to take this a gun apart, you pull this off, take it out. And then this pops out and there's two pieces here and that's the whole gun apart. So throw it in the thing to clean it. The other one's a little more difficult to clean. Another thing you can Oops. do is do that like yep. that. Yep, and you just kind of wipe it back, and it looks like oil. But yeah, if you don't, if you don't want to do that, you can do this, and just like my finger, you could, you could wipe it that way. Um, it there's works. also guys are using chalk. Um, you take ground up brown chalk, and you drip it on there, and then you rub it back, and it makes the streaks too. It's just this is how I've always liked it. On the on the here, you know, you can do it on the fuse like this if you wanted to panel line this way. Um, I do a lot of them to where they're coming straight down to where it looks like it was setting somewhere and getting rained on. You can take a light gray and kind of streak it like this and that gives it that look of the gray kind of gives it the look like it's been getting rained on in the South Pacific. If you ever look at pictures of old airplanes, they always have that gray on them. See, and I splattered a little bit. If I take that and just kind of wipe down, just make some oil streaks. Doesn't hurt nothing. Like I said, you're just trying to do dirty. Nothing crazy here. The cowl would always be real dirty around these cowl flaps. Okay, and just give it a little streak around the cowl flaps. I like it right here too. Coming from behind the cowling. Just dirty. Nothing crazy, guys. Let's make it look like it had an oil leak and it was streaking down this. <clears throat> it's just a streak. It ran down the side. So that's easy to use. Give me a second to change colors, guys. I want to show you what we do on our exhaust to finish prettying that up. I was just going to show you here what I'm doing with this. If you can see what I've done here, I just do that and run my finger across it. Like it's going that way, and you look at it. Yeah, it's just oils and grease. Stuff is just kind of splattered, splattered on, it, on it. That's all you want. Sorry, guys, I'm a really bumpy cameraman. Okay, I'm going to go change colors. All with that is what we're doing. And I'll show you here on the right here, like, like what I do is I'll take it across here like this. You could leave it like that. But I'll run my finger across it like that. Oh, sorry, Charles. Camera woman. Just so it's that way, and then just a little pull. And then you get that. I don't know what it looks like. I'm trying to do it upside down, but you can tell. Tell I really don't care. But if you can see it, it looks like it's blowed across it. You can take Thank it all the way to the back if you want to. More normally, you don't have to. She said she's going outside. You know, see if we you think something might have went, that's where you put it. So when you're changing colors on the airbrush, and you don't got to look at me right now. All I did was go over to the sink, fill my airbrush up with water to get the excess paint that was in it out. And then I'm spraying a little water through it right now to kind of clean out the gun. And then we're in our hobby room, so I just dump the excess on the floor. It's just water with a little bit of paint in it, but then there's nothing. It's concrete. It's just me. Normally I have my rug in here that I done with Tom, but I took the rug out last night. Now, the other thing I run through it, run through the airbrush, is isopropic alcohol between coats. What it does is on this water-based paint, it breaks it right apart. And with the color change, you don't need much, just a little bit, and then spray it out. You're not gonna hurt anything in the room. It's probably dry by the time it's hitting that cabinet over there. But you wanna get all your color out that you can. And then finish up 
finish it off till there's nothing else coming out of the end. I know it's probably hard to see it on there. So now we're going to switch colors. The next color we're going to do is called Burnt Umber from Vallejo. I actually have these linked on Pilot Ryan's uh, Amazon store again. What paints I use. Most of the stuff I get from Amazon, it's the closest hobby store to me is about an hour and a half away. So it's really hard for me to squeak away to get it. I don't need a lot of this brown, so I'm only going to put a couple drops at the bottom of this. But I'm saying I don't use a lot of paint here. Let's see if I can show you this. That's how much... There it is. That's how much paint I use in this. I mean, very little. Okay. Charlie so says he loves your shirt. Who? Charlie. Which Charlie? A.A. Ron. Oh, A.A. Ron. Hi, A.A. Ron. Thank you. Yes, I'm the master chicken feeder, the professional chicken feeder. Motion RC says nice work. Well, hello, James. I believe that would be you for motion. And Dennis says, oh, like oh. So the other thing right is if you see I something don't, you don't like, you, well, that's a good you can take right and there. rub it. You can rub a little off. Yeah. You can put I like this one. You can always take a little isopropyl alcohol it is and just rub a little bit. Right good to see you, James. Now, something I like to do, I've got brown in here on this on this color. I'm going to do it very, very lightly on this. He got your message about the F-16 fuse. Excellent. He said he'll check it out tomorrow. Cool. And China wants a shout out. <laughs> Hello, Cheyenne. <laughs> so I'm going to take one panel in here, and I'm going to change the color of it just lightly to that light tan color. And that just gives it a look like they've done a repair somewhere in this airplane. So just a light repair. You don't want to go crazy with this. You're going to do it very lightly. Sorry, I was paying attention to... Uh... It's okay. Are you showing them that? Just a couple panels you'll pick out on the airplane just real lightly on this. You can show them those that I did over there. And this just gives it like it's been repaired or this panel saw some really heavy damage. Nothing crazy on it, just real light on this. We haven't figured out how to boot bullet holes yet. Yeah, we're, we're trying to work out bullet holes still. Uh, you've seen them, but they're, they take quite a bit of paint. To, I mean, detail to paint bullet holes. We haven't got that uh, crazy yet. All right, if you'll turn it over, let's do Maybe coming the exhaust though. real quick. Oh, no. We'll show them how it here. This thing is so good. Sorry, guys. Trying to stay out of the way and in the way at the same time. It's fun. So here's what we do on our exhaust. So we've done our black. Can we tilt this up just a hair so the light will hit it? Just like that right there. Right there. Old man under the tree says hi. Who's that? Old man under the tree. Well, hello, old man under the tree. So right now I'm setting up my gun to shoot that color. It's, it's like a real light tan. What I'm going to do is go around into my exhaust now and add some of this brown. If you ever look at an exhaust on an airplane, a real picture of them, it's never actually just black. It's about three different colors to mix in here to make it look just right. And all we did is add a little bit of tan to that right now. Nothing crazy. And I'll show you in a second, we're gonna come back with a real light color of gray. And that's what actually finishes off the hot look where it looks like that exhaust really got hot on the side of the airplane. But a little of it goes a long way. Okay, I'm gonna go change colors again. Do you want me to flip it over with you? So you can do some more. Yeah, whatever. Or if y'all got a question for Mr. Boozer, here he is. He's been in the hobby for a very, very long time. So if you got questions about also, wood airplanes, he can answer those. If you have questions about anything else, I'll be right back. I know you probably can't see me right now, but I'm going to go change color so we can do the final part of the exhaust. I'm just going to do some panel lines while he's gone with this. You, uh, is everybody understands what we got here, right? Anybody that went along with us when we showed you this? This is like an a oily group. Uh, to grease up and dirty up the panel lines. I'm, I'm Sorry, also guys. Making streaks with my finger. 
Instead of the gun, you could use this. It's called Citadel. No. Citadel. Known oil. Shade Known Oil. <laughs> no oil. It, no, it, no. It's got a weird name. I see that. Known Oil. Yeah. It does have a weird name. Where'd you get it from? Uh, I order it on Amazon. Amazon, okay. If you have a local hobby store, they will probably sell the no oil. Now watch, oil. guys, again, if you wasn't here. We're going to take it down the, the panel line. Okay. Just with a paintbrush. See, I'm not doing it. I, I'm not really trying to be that correct in here. I wipe, wipe one of my fingers. Wipe over that wet way like it's going that way. Then if I want to, do, then then I, if I want to make runs, I streak it from there and pull my finger Any down. Questions? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you, if, a, if you really want to make a dirty line. Oh, was that a bird dog? <laughs> oh no, that's our mutt. There. He's a corgi. <laughs> He's loud though. Yeah, he for a corgi, he has a big dog voice. I have to show him off here in a little bit. He's a funny looking dog. He's way too much. Yeah, sometimes I like to just leave it. I'll, I'll just streak it like this, like it was really Didn't much work. Running. I thought that the plane was going to fall. <laughs> we have the whole family here, guys, right now, too, at the Boozers. My mother's actually here. The wife's right here around the corner. Dad's here. It's a whole family affair at the Boozers channel. You can turn around and say hi to Mom. Say hi, Mama Miller. Hi, Mama Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Show him the dog. Oh, here's the crazy dog. Frog dog right now. He'll be in a video in the future. Yeah, I'm actually editing. We, uh, it's not a vampire, it's a venom. We uh, have the free wing venom we flew this week and did a video on, so that'll be coming out. Not this week, but next week. This week seven, we actually seven, have the, the Mary Boozer, our B24 from Motion RC video that's going to be coming out. It's going to be really exciting, guys. It's, it's something that me and uh, my father here have always dreamed of having a B24 and doing it up as the Mary Boozer. So it's going to be a really neat one. All right, so I'm getting ready to do the next color. Can you see that at the moment nope, right there? Not at all. Uh, here. here we this go. is light gray from uh, Vallejo again. Anyway, so this is for the exhaust. And what we do this color for is to make it real hot looking. So we're going to take this and chest it, make sure it's actually coming out gray and not brown. Woohoo! That's a good one. Got a lot. Nope, oh, I'm sorry. You got your little lights on? Nope. Those are good. Like you said, dirtying is not a big, there's no art to this as far as uh, you having to be exact. See, in my paint, it's still coming out kind of brown on this gray. No, I didn't. All right, so we got to be real light for this. Can you see what I'm about to do, Lori? Right in here? Yeah, I'm right on you there. Okay. Check down for just a second. Yeah, so I can get as much light as possible. All right, here we go. Real light on the gray, guys. It doesn't take much to overdo this. All this does is give it the hot. So can you see that? Yeah. So the the streak is just there, really light on this on the gray. I'm gonna do the other side real quick. I mean that was all it takes. You can overdo this really easily. You got it where you can see it? I think so. Yep. I'll take this and you can overshoot gray really easy. 
there it is, and we're coming straight out with it. Old man under the tree says, looks nice. And that's it. There it is. But if you look at an actual picture of a P-47 or whatever kind of Warbird, they'll always actually have that gray coming right out of where the exhaust hole is. And that's where it got real hot right as it was coming out. And it just adds that little bit more. If you can hear our chickens right now, they're going crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. the, the black is actually the exhaust when it first starts in the oil, then after it gets to a certain temperature, you're going to get the, the brown, and then when it gets where it's real hot, you're going to get the gray. I'm going to put a little of this in here while we're talking. But guys, I think this is a good point for us to kind of stop with you. Um, is there anybody that had any other questions for us? Um, you know, we can put another... We can put another video up here in just a minute, too. Lori gave me another phone that's got questions going on. It looks nice. More fun to do all along. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Take your take your sport to another level. <laughs> Feed those chickens. You know, uh, that's part of it. You get you get some a, a little bit more fun by doing this. The old man under the tree. We've actually done our tiger cat on an earlier video. Also, um, if you want to see how we did ours. Uh, there's actually a video up of us doing, I mean, the streaks on the top of the wings. We did the rivets on there. So you can see how we actually did the rivets. It would be hard to do a live stream of the rivets because it takes him hours, oh, yeah, yeah. hours to do those. But, yeah. you know, the finished product, like I said, you saw it a minute ago, it, it really looks great. Um, I'm going to flip it over real quick, give him one last good shot of what we've done so far. Looking forward to flying this airplane a lot, guys. Um, I've had several P-47s and all of them fly so good. I never got a chance to fly the 1700 FMS. I always wanted to, just never did. I have the E-Flight right here. If you want for size comparison, let me grab this airplane real quick too. So this is the 1200 millimeter uh, P-47 also. I'm going to let Lori get back out of the room real quick. Ooh. But just for size comparison, if you were wondering, if y'all been thinking about getting one of these, this is a 1,200mm P-47 from E-Flight, and then here's the 1,500mm uh, FMS. This airplane is wonderful. If you're looking for your first uh, Warbird, I can't recommend this airplane enough. It flies excellent. And I have a feeling this one's going to be just as good. This does have a gyro, this doesn't, but it can be solved very easily by putting one of these in there. So we might eventually put our Hobby Eagle gyro in this airplane if it needs it, but so many of these larger warbirds fly so good you don't need one, yeah. really. The same thing with when I was this doing quarter big. scale gas, when I first did my first quarter scale and I was going to all the other guys that had flew quarter scale, the number one thing that they recommended me to build first was the P-47, believe it or not. It looks, it, you wouldn't think it would fly that well, but the P-47 is what the quarter scaler said to go to first. And it, it, it's everything it's meant to be as far as a warbird. Yeah, and I've, I've got my hands on several of them, and they've always flown good. I think it has to do with they have a really wide gear stance on these airplanes. It makes them land a lot easier. I mean, you are never going to hit your wingtips on a P-47 because your gear, I mean, they're literally out here. So you only have that much wing space. And then on these newer ones, they build them so well. Um, with the suspension retracts. I believe this one has suspension, I can't remember. Uh, and I can't see them right now because I have all the gear doors on them. I mean, this one is neat. It even has a retracting tail door. I mean, it is neat. What that look like? Looks good other than mm. you started too high, but that's okay. Oh, that's okay. We take that and we get a little rubbing alcohol on our finger and it'll come right off. And then you got a streak. Like it look okay, like it this looks... is good stuff here. 
And it looks dark when you first put that null oil on an airplane, but as it dries, it dries really, really opaque. I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, you can. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for joining us on the Sunday afternoon. Um, do y'all want to see us do our F-86 here in a minute? The same way, we'll turn on another one and spray the F-86 real quick, too. Um, we, I'll go grab it real quick. We actually just got Dad's F-86 put together from Christmas. If you're curious about how big the F-86 is right beside this right here, let me squeeze in real quick, Mr. Miller. Okay. Doing my thing here. Okay. If you're curious of what the size difference between that, if any of you guys have an F-86, there those two are right together. And if y'all are ever wanting to see airplanes compared side by side, I mean, we have a lot of them here. <laughs> we can probably put them up beside each other. But if y'all want another video, we're going to do this one exactly the same way right when we get done with doing the... T-47 and we can come back live again. That's up to you guys. Let us know. Oh, it's right down here. Thanks, Leslie. Good tutorial. Give me some try it. Dennis, you can definitely do this. Not, not hard at all. Hey, guys. Another thing what we want you to do is tell us about our videos. Our videos. What do you want to see different? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm the guy that come out with the slow mos I like to watch the slow mo is there something else? I, I, I don't like videos where you're watching the, the little dot out there fly around. I want to see the airplane in the air. That's what we're trying to give you. Uh, um, everybody tells you how well to set it up. Uh, they tell you the throws, but they don't. And they tell you how well the airplane flies, but at the same time, we're just trying to give you videos that are nice to watch, and they're, but they're not too long where they're not boring. <laughs> so, you guys tell us what you want to see. We, we, we'd like to know. Are we doing a good job? What do we need to do there? Well, Leave guys, comments. I, huh? Leave comments yeah. on the videos if you like them. Guys, I think we're going to call this one good for the day. It was, it was great seeing a lot of you over from uh, last night. I talked to you on the Pilot Ryan. Uh, live stream and tonight get or today go jump right in getting to see us here I'm looking really forward to flying this airplane This is one of the prettiest airplanes. I've seen in a while and if you were curious The FMS or not the FMS the flight line Spitfire is exactly the same size as this airplane So they'd be great sisters to each other uh, Yeah I'm, uh, the, uh, I will say it really is nice if you'll put the uh, gyro in it. The, uh, what, what's that gyro? <laughs> the hobby it? eagle. Hobby eagle. Gyro. Gyro. Yeah. That helps you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I see Joel's comments too. He wants to clean his, his stick. <laughs> Not the stick, it's the stick. <laughs> Our friend Joel, um, he just recently got in the hobby and he got a. Uh, what, who made that airplane? Uh, Sig. The stick. Sig, Sig made no, it, didn't no, they? No, no, it wasn't Sig. It was, uh, oh, they've been around uh, forever. You yeah. know what I'm talking about. It's the about. slow stick. Everybody slow knows stick, the slow though. stick. Um, and his comments are hilarious about, I'm going to paint up my stick the same way and do my rivets. And anyway, he's been a hoot, and he's been flying with us the last couple of weeks getting into the hobby really been enjoying it so that's great yeah, i will give wesley credit we're, we're trying he also has got away from just plain old everyday airplane videos now he's went into you know the, the flying at night with the multi-colored yeah. if anybody saw uh, our video this week of the glider i mean y'all probably thought we went crazy but we had a lot of fun making that we hadn't got over the captain blosh yet but uh, <laughs> uh that's i, I the Petrinsky brothers. Captain's Lodge kind of, uh, every once in a while, it's too long and it's oh. like, kick somebody. But anyway, for me, I want to... I like his videos. I think the guys are hilarious. I got to clean my brush. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up here. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by this afternoon. And we're going to figure out how to turn this off now. Um, yeah. Uh,